They left a little ghetto, a little ghetto in Radom. My mother and father was in the ghetto. My brothers and I were marching out about five kilometers outside of the city. There was a factory there which was built by the Polish government for the Polish um, uh, military. Uh, and they were producing guns, ammunition, and bicycles. And we were the force. We were about, I believe, close to 3,000. I can't remember exactly the numbers, but close enough like that. So, we worked 12 hours a day. There was about five kilometers from our camp waiting for us till the factory. We worked 12 hours a day. We worked on a bicycle apartment. I learned how to make a bicycle from zero to a finished product uh, with my brothers and my father. And uh, we got in the morning a cup of a cup of black coffee. At lunchtime, they gave us a small little bowl, small little bowl of soup. If you were lucky, you see some peanuts swimming around in it. And at night time, when we came back after twelve hours of work, we got eight, six ounces of bread, black bread. Sometimes it was molded, and a cup of coffee. And uh, so we were worked for twelve hours. They woke us up two hours before that in the morning and uh, check if anybody escaped or not. Then we walked to work. When we came back, they kept us another two hours. So the day consists of about 16 hours on a diet like that. And uh, there is one man disappeared, a young man disappeared one day. And he had family there, two teenagers and a set of parents. On a Sunday they took him out and made a, uh, we had to sit in a circle, we had to stay in a circle, we put him in the middle. And this assessment, I'll never forget his face, he had a black patch on one eye. Took out his pistol, they had to kneel, and he shot everybody in the back. And he said, <coughs> if anybody escaped, that's what's going to happen. 